Hello everyone, welcome back to Chess with Eminem and also welcome back to Chessable Masters Online Tournament on Chess24.com Today started the final round of the semi-finals between Anish Giri and Ian Nipomniachi Now as we know Anish Giri won the round 1 and Ian Nipomniachi won the round 2 and now we are in the final round between these players So let's see, so without wasting any time, let's see what happened in the first game of the semi-finals between Anish Giri and Ian Nipomniachi of the final round, okay? Uh, Nipo, let's call it Nipo, okay, by the white pieces, and Anishkiri by the black pieces. Nipo opened this game by knight to f3, d5 here played by Anishkiri, and now e3, knight to f6, and now c4, and it's one of the lines of the uh, ready opening, okay. e6 played here, and now knight to c3, developing the other knight, and here, the most played move is b6, our bishop to e7, but here, instead, uh, uh, this moves, uh, Anishkiri played d capture on c4, okay. Bishop capture on c4. Now the idea is forcing this bishop to capture on the c4 to pushing a6 and b uh, a6 and b5 with him on the bishop to develop this bishop on the h1a a diagonal. Okay, this is the main line by d capture on c5, uh, c4. Sorry. However, c5 played by Anishgiri and now d4 hitting the center and there and here a6 preparing to pushing b5. E4 grabbing the control of the center by uh, this pawn structure e4 and d4 pawn structure. So here immediately. Uh, Nishkiri destroyed this uh, pawn structure by c capture on d4. Knight capture on d4 played by Nepo. And now uh, bishop to d6. Okay, bishop to d6 developing the bishop also preparing to castle. Here bishop to e3 also developing the bishop supporting the d4 knight. And now here Nishkiri castled. And now rook to c1 played by Nepo. No, rook to c1 developing the rook on the open c file. And here b5, as we said, attacking the bishop, uh, clearing the b7 square for the uh, like for the black is like squares bishop. Bishop back to b3 played, and here bishop to b7. And here on the move 12, the action started. Now here Nipo said, now this bishop move it from the c8 square, so now this bishop no longer protecting the a6 square, so simply let's sacrifice on the a6 square. The idea is that if you capture by the pawn, then I will recapture by the knight, attacking your rook, also your queen, you will move your queen, and then I will grab your rook, and after queen capture on f8, now now by this the black here has knight and bishop instead rook and two pawns i mean this position is a little bit equal and then he says that this position is equal but here instead capturing on the e6 anishkiri said now as you captured my pawn on the e6 then i'll, I'll, I'll grab your e4 pawn okay uh, Anishkiri's idea is that if you capture by the knight, and this is what happened actually, I'll recapture by the bishop with an attack on your g2 pawn, also with an attack on your bishop on the e6 square. So here, queen to g4 played by Nepo. Queen to g4, I'm attacking your bishop. Also, if you capture f capture on e6, then I will recapture by the queen with check, and then I will take back my piece with an attack on your rook, and by this, the white will be, uh, I mean, the white here will be uh, up uh, a pawn, okay? Uh, and it is the f pawn. So I hear after uh, queen to g4, bishop back to g6 played by uh, Anishgiri, and now queen back to f5. And here queen to a5. Queen to a5 is a beautiful move actually, queen to a5 check. Here uh, Nepo played king to f1. Now the idea here is that if you cover by uh, the bishop, example bishop to d2, then bishop to b4 is a strong move. Now the idea that you cannot capture, or you can, but if you capture, then I will recapture by the queen with check. Now here you have to move your king, and then you will lose your b2 pawn, also with an attack on your rook, with an attack also on your a2 pawn. And if you play something here, let's say after queen to a a5, bishop to d2, and bishop to b4. If you play something like queen to e2, then I have this strong move, bishop capture on d2. After queen capture on d2, now here, uh, after queen capture on d2, now I have rook to e8 check. Now here you have to play king to d1 and this is the only move for the, the white because here if you move your king into the f1 then you will lose your queen and if you play some like knight back to e2 then I have queen capture on d2 and after king capture then I have bishop capture on f5 because now this knight no longer protecting the f5 uh, bishop. So for this reason here after queen to a5 king to f1 was the only move here for the white and now bishop to e5. Now here the best move for the black was capturing on the a2 but I mean here Anishkiri said now if I capture on the uh, if I capture on the a2 then he will play h4. Now the idea is that if you play anything let's say here rook to a7 then I then the, the white he will play h5 attacking the bishop after bishop capture then knight capture on uh, f5 comes with double attack on the g7 pawn. If I play something like bishop to e5 then bishop to h6 comes with treble pressure there's I mean there's a huge pressure on the g7 pawn and I mean uh, Anishkiri has here said to himself that I cannot bear all of this Pressure. So for this season here, 
after uh, king to f1, here Anishkiri simply played bishop to e5. Bishop to e5, now I'm protecting the g7 pawn, and I mean, yeah, I'm protecting the g7 uh, pawn, giving more protection to that pawn. And if you try to play something like h4, now uh, maybe I can play something like king to, uh, rook, king to h8 and something like rook to g8 in the, at some point, okay? So we have to bishop to e5, bishop capture on g6 played, h capture on g6, and now h4 played. And h4, I mean, it was uh, h4, yeah, h4 played here by... Uh, I mean, h4 wasn't the best move here. The best move that the engine says is rook to c8, grabbing uh, one of the control uh, or one of the defenders of the, uh, the g8 is king. But instead, uh, rook to c8 here, h4 played, and here Anishkiri plundered. Anishkiri here, I mean, played a terrible blunder, unfortunately. Uh, Anishkiri here captured on the a2. Now the engine here says that Anishkiri had to capture on the d4. Okay, and we will see. I mean, I will explain why capturing, why Anishkiri had to capture on the d4. Our Anishkiri, yeah, I mean, the best movie for the white is capture for the black. Sorry, is capturing on the d4 because here, after queen capture on a2, here Nepomneshi simply pushed h5. Uh, I, I want to open the the file for my rook. Queen to d5 played now, and now simply h capture on g6, f capture on g6 played, and now knight to e6 played. Knight to e6, now the idea here that I want to play knight back to g5, queen to h4, and queen to h8 checkmate. I mean, the, for so for this season here, the best move was grabbing this, I mean, this dangerously knight, okay? So we're after knight to e6, uh, rook to e8, I mean knight to e6 attacking the rook, so rook to e8, uh, attacking the, uh, the knight, and now simply knight to g4, now the threat is queen to, uh, I mean queen to h4, and queen to h8 checkmate, or queen to, yeah, queen to h8 checkmate. So we're after knight to g5, bishop to f6, now I want to grab that this dangerously bishop. And here it was at this position that Ian Nipomniachi blundered. Why? Here, Ian Nipomniachi played king to g1, and Ian here missed so strong tactic, and it is rook to h8. Now rook to h8, the idea here that if you capture, and this is the only move, then I have queen to h4 check, when you move your king to the g8, then I have queen to h7 check, when you move your king to the f8, then I have bishop to c5 check, I mean... This check is so deadly. Now here, the best move here for the black is, uh, I mean, uh, sacrificing the queen. Because here, if we try to play something like bishop capture on e6, let's say trying to covering the diagonal by the bishop, then I have simply bishop, uh, I mean, then I have bishop, yeah, sorry, bishop capture on uh, e6 first. After king capture, then simply I have queen capture on g7. When you move your king into the d6, then queen capture on c7 checkmate, simply. And here, if you try to, I mean, if you try here, uh, let's say, where? If you try to cover by the rook, let's say rook to e7, then simply here I have a rook to h8 check. The only move is covering by the queen, queen back to g8. And now simply a queen, bishop capture on e6. Now if you don't want to lose your queen, so you will, uh, you don't want to, to lose your queen, so simply you will play bishop capture on e7. But unfortunately this, this doesn't work because simply I have rook to c8 check. And after bishop to d8, uh, then I have, sorry, not rook capture, uh, queen capture first. And after king capture, then I have rook capture on d8, and this is a checkmate. So for this season here, king to h1, queen, uh, rook to h8 was so strong tactic, but unfortunately Nepo missed that, because, I mean, it's still rabbit game. King to g1 played by Nepo, and here simply bishop capture on g5, grabbing the dangerously knight. Bishop capture on g5, and now simply knight to c6. Now the idea is that if you play something like queen to h4 and king to h7, simply I can shift that king into the queen side, so there is nothing to worry about. But here after knight to c6, bishop to e3 played, and now knight to e5 attacking the queen, queen back to h3, and here Anishkiri plundered again. Anishkiri here uh, had to play king to f7, shifting to shift his queen, or to move uh, from queen to h7 check, but here unfortunately, uh, Anishkiri uh, missed that idea, Anishkiri here played knight to c4, and the problem by this move that queen to h7 played by Nepo, and after queen to f7, here simply Nepo played queen to uh, bishop to h6, and this move is so deadly move. The idea is that if you play something like rook to g8, or queen to e5, and this is actually what happened in the game, I will play rook to h3, rook to f3 is the next move, and then I will grab your g7 um, pawn, I mean, with discover on your king. Example, if I played something like rook to f3, and if you play something like king to e7, then I have bishop capture on e7, on g7, with an attack on your queen. Also, with this, uh, I want to discover my bishop to anywhere uh, to give your king a check. I mean, it's, I mean, it will be so dangerously for your king. So here, after rook to h3, rook to g8, played, supporting the g7 square, and now simply rook to f3, check, played. Uh, king to e7, played here, and now simply here, 
Anish Kiri, sorry, um, Nipom Niachi Blunted again. I mean, what exactly happened to these players, I don't know. But Anish uh, Nipom Niachi Blunted here and Nipom Niachi played Rook Capture on C4. Exactly what happened to him, I don't know, I have no idea. But his idea is that this knight is the only, prote uh, I mean, uh, the only controller of the e3 square so when he recaptured by the pawn then i have simply a rook to e3 and then he will lose his queen but the problem is that this move doesn't work actually because anish giri here can draw this position pause the video for a couple of seconds and try to find how anish giri can draw this position draw this position if you found the line congratulations you are so good player the line is by playing queen to e one check now if you play king to h2 and this is the only move then i have queen to e5 check again now the idea here that let's say uh, you played uh, something like uh, now if you play king to g1 then i have queen to e1 check again the best move here for the uh, i mean the white is playing king to h3 and after king to h3 then here simply i have b capture on c4 now i can grab that uh pawn because here when you play something like rook to e3 then simply i can sack my queen queen capture on e3 and after pawn capture on e3 now i have this deadly move and it is king to f6 king to f6 now your queen trapped you can if you move your bishop to anywhere then rook to h8 let's say not uh, to g to the g8 but let's say uh into the f4 uh, okay then queen to h8 and your queen trap it so for this reason here the best move for the black is capturing the pawn on the g7 we should capture on g7 then i have rook capture on g7 and now i have two rooks for queen and uh, i mean both players has uh, three pawns so i mean this position is equal but unfortunately uh anish kiri missed that idea and after rook capture on c4 anish kiri he simply played rook to h8 attacking the queen early and here after uh, king to h8 queen capture on g7 played simply queen capture on g7 played by uh anish kiri and now bishop cat uh, sorry not bishop capture on e7 uh, rook to e4 check played first and it was at this position that anish kiri simply decided the game why because i mean you'll move your king into the d file let's say d king to d6 and then simply you'll lose your queen and by this now you the black here is down a whole piece and i mean this is enough to win this game. So yeah, it was at this position that Anish Giri simply decided the game. And by this, Ian Nipomniachi won the first round. The first game, sorry. So let's see what will happen in the next game. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to ask by the like and subscribe. Also, you can check out my previous videos and see you in the next videos.